Welcome back, everyone. It's Code Wave. In this series, we are going to have a series on React Component Library. And specifically in this section, we are going to create a reusable form input component. Okay, so now let's get started. But before then, let us take a moment to understand what we want to achieve. What we want to achieve is that at the end of the day, we should create an input component that can be used to handle most of the cases, such as handling test input, numbers, and email addresses. So at the end of the day, we should create this particular input component that we can use for all these cases. Also, we want to provide a real-time validation and a visual feedback to the user. Okay, so now let's get started. Now, create an empty folder known as component or em empty folder component. And we'll be using this component for other subsequent videos or tutorials. And just drag and drop it into an empty window of Visual Studio Code. Okay. Now click on Terminal and open the terminal and just type MPX create React app. MPS create React app. So we'll be install it in the same directory. So we'll just put dot forward slash. Okay, this will take a couple of minutes. Okay, so whilst it is creating, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and like. Also hit the bell notification so that when I post a new video, you will know. Okay, we'll be also be using Tailwind CSS. So let us also go to the uh, website and see how we can do the installation and configuration. So if we're a complete beginner, kindly go to the... Uh, their website and read the documentation. So let's copy this installation command and install Tailwind CSS. Okay. Whilst it is installing, let us also copy the this command to initialize Tailwind CSS. This will create a Tailwind.config.com JS file. Now we copy this and add it to the config file, the wing config file. Okay, so let's go here. We replace it with the content here. And don't forget to add JSX to it. Okay. So now let's start our app by running npm start. So this will open the app in the browser now let's copy this also from the documentation and add it to our index.css file okay i'll add mine to the top here Okay, so let me put the browser and the editor side by side. Okay, so our app is running, as you can see. Okay. So we have some boilerplate code that we will not need it. So we will have to delete them like the setup file, the report of web vitals, app.test. So select all and delete it. Now let's go to the index.js file and remove those files we've deleted the their import statements okay so in here we'll remove this one and we'll remove the header tag as well okay now we'll be left with this just put hello inside and save it make sure you save it okay so now we have our hello in there so everything is working fine okay so now We will create a folder called components. So in all our videos, we'll be using this component. We'll just be developing on it. Okay, so now let's give some classes to this. We'll say background gray 200. We want the height to be 
100 VH, we want it to be flex, item center, and justify center as well. So that's all. Okay, so we have it in the center here. Now, inside the component, we'll create the form input dot jss and use the snippet rfc so make sure you have the extension es7 plus installed in order to use this snippet okay so now we'll import the form input here inside our app okay make sure you have the import statement at the top okay so it's not auto importing i will manually import it okay so we'll say import form input from dot slash components. Okay, components slash form input. Okay. And we save it. Now we have the input here. Now we'll use state. Use state say so let's import it. Okay. Okay. Now we'll need a label. Okay, so we'll say your email. And we'll need the input itself. So we'll say input, self-closing input tag. Okay, so now we have the label and the input. Okay. Now let's give classes to the label. We want it to be block. And the margin bottom of two. The test should be small. Font should be medium. Okay, font medium, want the test to be gray 800. Okay, so if I zoom out, okay, let me zoom in, in so that you can see. Okay, now let's come to the input and style it. Okay, we give some classes. We want a BG of gray 50, we want a border. And the border color should be gray 300. The test should be gray 300 as well. Gray 900 and the test medium and rounded large. And on focus, we want to give a ring of two. And on focus again, we want the ring color to be blue 200. On focus, we want the border to be blue 400. 500 as well as we want it to be block a full width okay okay full width now we want to give a pattern of 2.5 outline to none okay so when it Yes, on focus now we don't get the outline let me zoom it in okay mm -hmm. okay beautiful so now we want to make it reusable so we will need some props so we'll pass these props when we call the form input so we we'll need the label the type we we'll need the placeholder we we'll need if the input should be required or not and we we'll need the unchange event we also need the value as well as we need a validator to validate the input. We need the name of the input and we need the error message as well as a function to reset the error. Okay, so these are the props we will pass when we use it. So now let's make it instead of hard coded value, we need to pass the parameters or the props to the input to the input okay so we'll pass the label the type the name the placeholder and we'll set the value to also value set the unchange to the unchange event we'll also call the required to required okay so now we want the required to be default to false and we also want the validator to be an empty function for now 
okay so in this input here let us pass the value storage so label should be your mail placeholder to be mail at codewave.com okay so now those values are reflected it's working fine we want the type to be email we want required to be true true okay and the name to be email Okay, so it's fine. Now let's duplicate it and see. We change this to password. Change this to password as well. Password and password. Okay, note that the type password is small p. Okay, so let's wrap it in a div. Okay, beautiful. So now you see we've created an input form input where we are reusing it a reusable form input component okay so now let's change this to a form and add a button to it I submit the button and we'll put the type as submit okay so when we click on it you see that because we set the required to true it's asking us to put the email okay so now we want to pass our validation to it. So I have a validation of email. I'll just bring it here. Okay, I'll leave this in my GitHub repo. So if you need it, you can download it. I actually had it from the internet. So we say is valid and set is valid. And we're going to use the use state. Use state, it's a React hook, which allows you to have a state variable in your component and we also have this handle input change function where we get the event and get the value also we will need the validator so we'll pass that validation to the validator which will be used here okay so it will be changed to the unchanged event so now we'll pass this handle input change to the on change of the input okay so now in here so in here we'll pass the validator to be email validation which is coming from the validation we just brought in here this one okay so let's make sure you import it So import validation from the slash validation. Validation. Okay. Good. Okay. So now we pass that validation function to the email component. Now we also want to show an validation message. So if this validation will return is valid and a message. So if the is valid is false, if it's false and the error is also now here, we'll be passing another parameter known as error. If it's now, we want to show the error. So now we have a state variable called email and set email. Okay, so the email is a state and the set email is a set function or the function to set a value to the state okay so now let's import use state from react here okay okay so now we'll pass on change as set email to test and we'll be getting the test from here okay so now if we enter we see that we get a value in here okay and okay beautiful so now let's check okay so now this i'll create another 
folder known as container and i have a form that i have prepared with this same input so we are importing the input the same input we're going to import and pass those parameters so i'll just comment this and import that form which has the same input we just created okay um we will not talk much about the validation but when we get to the form we'll talk about how we can validate it okay so we have the input for email the input for name and the input for password and we are reusing the same component we just created okay so now let's go back to the component so now we have a little validation in here we'll not talk much about it so now when we click on submit we want to validate it again so we'll bring this function step that says that if each one has an error we should just show the error message under it so now when you click you see that uh, the errors have been shown perfectly or correctly okay now we also want to reset it when the input gets focused we want to reset that particular error that is what the set reset error is doing okay so when we click okay so you see the error messages appear and when we get the focus it vanishes or goes away and when we put the correct name we get it and when all is validated we just click and we see that registered successfully so congratulations now in our next video we'll look at how we can add icons to the input and that's it we have successfully created a form input component in react this component provides a real-time validation and feedback to the user feel free to customize it and extend it based on your preference or your need thank you for watching